God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. This is Minister Rashinga Battles coming to you here on another segment of The Power to Become. God bless you this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, truly, I thank God for you, for your life, for all that God is doing in you and through you. I thank God, my brothers and my sisters, because this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it today. Um, as always, you know, um, on Sundays, as as is as with our Sunday custom, is uh, for our, our, I I cannot allow myself to walk through the doors of the sanctuary to leave without sharing with you some of the divine nuggets that came forth in the message today, and um, there is one nugget that I'm going to share with you, but it's so powerful and it really connects to so many things in our lives. Uh, uh, it connects to why certain things that we have not done, uh, we have not even attempted to do, uh, my brothers and my sisters. And, um, I thank God for bringing forth this message through uh, my prophet, Eric O'Carroll here in King's Kingdom Churches. Um, and, uh, you say, well, hey, that sounds really powerful. How can I listen? How can I gather more information? How can I watch this message? That's a very great, that's a good question. You can go to my page, Rushinga Battles. And you know what? You can even go to my prophets page, Eric Okaru. Okay, that's O-K-A-U-R-U. -U. Um, you can also go to my other page, Humbly Bold Battles. All right. And you can watch it there. I guarantee you it's going to be such a blessing to you and for you. Glory to God. Um, and we are in our month of supernatural breakthrough, my brothers and my sisters. And um, it was just powerful. And it was just that on time word that I really, really and truly needed. You know, it's nothing like the word of God that really gives you that push to really say, OK, come on now. Get on out there. Do what I had for you to do. Go ahead and do what I told you to do. Glory to God. And many times we find ourselves in that place of doubt and saying, okay, did God really tell me this? Well, you know what? I'm going to wait. Because uh, one of the reasons why we delay in doing what God tells us to do is because we're not hearing his voice. You say, yes, I did hear him, but I just didn't do it. No, we're not hearing it. Because when you hear the voice of God, my brothers and my sisters, what happens is that you, when you know that you are really and truly hearing what God is saying, that means that you're going to go forward and do it without hesitation, without reservation, without um, any uh, um, any doubt. Um, and even when you are like, even when you're having thoughts of, wow, this is like, okay, God, I have no clue how to do this. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know where to go, you know? And yes, we have the, uh, so many different things available at our fingertips that we can go ahead and, and do research on. Right. Um, but the thought is, can be like, wow, but you know, anytime that God gives us an instruction, it's always bigger than we are. It's always something outside of the bounds that is outside of that comfort zone. It's never in a place where you are comfortable with, Oh, Oh, oh yeah, you know what? I got this. I can do this. No, it is outside of those boundaries. It's 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 ah, it's so much bigger and wider and vast and and it just really just it's like wow. Okay, so the first thing that comes that that can come to our mind is like hold up, I can't do that. You're absolutely right. We cannot, but through God we can. Hallelujah my brothers and my sisters. And, and you know what, when God speaks, he's challenging. It's a challenge for us to say, okay, are you going to trust me? Are you going to trust me? Because when God is speaking, that means that he is entrusting us. You know, have you ever really thought about that? When God gives us an instruction, when he gives you an instruction, he's after, he's actually entrusting you to carry that thing out. He is saying, I'm trusting you to do this. Glory to God. He is trusting you to carry out that particular uh, uh, assignment, my brothers and my sisters. He is saying, uh, uh, this is this is what you must do. Glory to God. And as you step out, you see right here, you're here. But when God is speaking, he's 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 and, and it, 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 it's like you're you're taking you're taking a step forward. You're taking that step forward and you're stepping into something, a whole new different territory, a whole new different dimension that you have never been before. Maybe you have heard about it, but you or you've seen people, you've heard about people doing it, but you're like me. 
me do this thing? Uh-uh. No, I don't know how. I don't have the resources. I don't this and I don't that. You know what? And are we guilty of that? Yes. Yes. All day long, my brothers and my sisters. But you know what? It's about this in this month of supernatural breakthroughs. It's about um, our minds, our thinking uh, being uh, reset is going in that we're pushing that reset button. You know, we need to push that reset button on our thinking and how we approach it. Because think about it. God has given you this assignment that to to carry out, to start this business, to to start the uh, to to go to school, to do this or to do that. Uh, my brothers and my sisters. And and you're like, wow, to start this ministry. What are you know? To, to, he's he's is. He's calling us to a higher level of faith because my brothers and my sisters, we can't grow being here. But when we step out of that place, then that is when growth comes because now we're in a place that we have never uh, chartered. Our feet have never tread upon before. And so now we're in a place where, wow, we're looking around like, oh my God. Where do I go? You know, how do I navigate through this thing? How do I, how do I do this? How do I do that? Who is going to help me? My brothers and my sisters, anytime, you know, and, and, and even as I'm speaking, it's just really just like, wow, you know, God would actually entrust me with this particular assignment. He would actually give me this divine idea to carry out for his glory. And he is actually entrusting me to carry out this big thing that, ah, my God, I don't know how to do, but I know that he's going to give me the strength. I know that he's going to guide me because everything that you've done, think about it. There are things that you have that you have accomplished, right? There are things that you didn't even think that you can do. But when you got through, when you got to the end of it, you were like, wow, you know, and now you have grown. You've grown in the knowledge of that thing, right? But you have grown in God. Above all, you have grown spiritually, not just uh, 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 naturally, not just knowledgeably about that thing, but you have grown in your faith because now you know that without a shadow of a doubt that you could not do it. You cannot do it in your own strength. You cannot. My brothers and my sisters, glory to God. So what did my prophet say today? I tell you, he said that disobedience destroys, uh, uh, dis uh, he said that disobedience destroys your, um, your prophetic he said, your prophetic, uh, uh, um, it cancels, excuse me. He said, it cancels your, uh, um, your prophetic assignment. Okay. It prophetic, it, it, it your, uh, to, your prophetic works, excuse me. I'm trying to get it word for word. Cause I know I got it. And listen here, Rashima took our notes today. Okay. After service, I got, I listened to the message and I thank God. Um, I got the message and, 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 and it just, it's something about going in to listen to the message again. Have you guys ever done that? Have you gone in to listen to the message again from, uh, your, your spiritual father, spiritual mother, your leader, um, your shepherd that is watching for your souls. Have you gone in to listen to that message again and as you listen to it you're even more blessed than you were the first time and it's like wow and God is even giving you more revelation and just giving you more push and more fire more ignition you know um it's like a spark you know that that spark is just even is is, is then that fire is just igniting and it's just blazing and it's just hot it's burning hot it's higher and higher and it's hotter as well and that thing you know what I'm, what I'm saying my brothers and my sisters so um, he said that 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 um, delayed obedience cancels your prophetic work. So whatever that thing is that is inside of you, that God has placed inside of you to do, that you have delayed. Has God ever told you to one of the examples my prophet Eric Okawa used was uh, that has God ever told you to go to school? But then you take, it takes you three years to, you're still thinking about if you want to go to school or not. This is something that God has placed in you to do, my brothers and my sisters, because it's a part of the work that he is doing in you. So therefore, my brothers and my sisters, go and whatever you have not done that God has told you to do, my brothers and my sisters, 
go and do it. Don't delay. Don't delay. The Bible says that my sheep know my voice. They will not hear the voice of another. They will not listen to the voice of another. That means that I know my mother's voice. I know my father's voice. You know your parents' voice. You know your children's voice. You know the, the, the sound, the tone. You can be anywhere, right? But you will know that, hold up, this is so-and-so. This is mom. This is dad. This is my pastor. This is my prophet. This is my apostle. You know these things things. Glory to God. So my brothers and my sisters, whatever it is, you say, well, gosh, I don't know how, but you, it's okay. It's okay. Because see what happens is, and, and, and see, this is one of the things that really delivered me today. Um, was that he said, you know, my prophet, he said, you know what? It's not your fault. I was like, wow. And I promise you, I promise you that I have been carrying those, these things and I have been uh, repenting for these things. God, forgive me for not going forward. Forgive me for not doing what you told me to do. Forgive me for not doing this. Forgive me for not doing that. I have done it, my brothers and my sisters. But this thing just really delivered me because, and I'm going to tell you why. You say, hold up, Rashima, you're not taking accountability for your actions. Yes, I am. But I didn't understand that there was a force behind this thing. So when God God has placed something in you to do. He has given you an instruction, a desire uh, to go start a business, to go to school, to, to do this, to go here, to do that, to go there. My brothers and my sisters, and you didn't obey it, my brothers and my sisters. It was the reason for it is because it, it is a demonic force that is there that is keeping you from going forward to do it, to obey, to hear what God is saying and to trust that it is God. You see, because anything that God tells you to do, he has already made a way. He has already made resources. He has already set up destiny helpers at point A, B, C, D, how many of the points that's needed to carry out that assignment. It is already done, my brothers and my sisters, but now we have to trust God. We have to trust God. You say, but it's not going to be easy. True enough. Glory to God. But don't worry about you. All you the, 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 the thing that we have to do is trust God. Why will God tell me to do something if he didn't trust that I can do it? He knows you can do it, but do you know? You And see, the thing is that don't trust yourself. Trust God. Don't trust your ability. Trust God. Don't trust what you know from what you don't know. Trust Trust God, because no matter what you know or what you don't know, my brothers and my sisters, God is teaching you something outside of the box. It's not just about starting that business. It's not just about uh, um, going back to school. It is something bigger. It is so much bigger. It's so much bigger. It is so much bigger than you, than, than, than you and I put together. It's bigger than that. It is spiritual. It is spiritual. It is spiritual. And God has taken us to new levels new dimensions, my brothers and my sisters. So therefore, when you are in that place, glory to God, no matter how long it takes, because there is a set time for that thing to manifest, for it to, to for it to uh, 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 end. And guess what? Now it's time for you to move on to something else. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you keep going forward. Glory to God. Do your due diligence. Give it a thousand and ten percent of your time, your attention. Don't allow distractions and be careful who you share your vision with because it's not everybody that's going to give you that encouragement to say, hey, you know, go ahead and do that. No, my brothers and my sisters, you don't need to be validated by people because when God gives you that, go ahead, hey, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do that. Let it start that very same day, that very same moment. When he speaks it, guess what? The next moment, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time to put it into action. Glory to God, my brothers and my sisters. I hope this word blessed you. Um, and guess what? We also have our covenant prayer line of speedy recovery of day and night. King's Kingdom Churches. We're located at 3209 Gresham Lake Road, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27615. Um, and our, our service time Sunday at um, 10 a.m. For Sunday school, we start our service at 11 a.m. Glory to God. And then we have our Bible study, um, 7 p.m. And guess what? We also have our prayer warrior meeting um, uh, on Fridays from uh, 7 a, uh, excuse me, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Glory to God. And we have our covenant prayer line of speedy recovery of day and night. Glory to God. Yes, seven days a week uh, without fail. Holidays, weekends included. All right. So make sure you connect. I encourage you. I invite you. 
connect, come and be our and 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 not just be our guest, not just visit, but just I I I trust and I really believe in my heart of hearts because I know and I hear the testimonies and even my own that it is going to bless you so much. You're looking for answers, clarity. You need clarity in certain areas of your life for you, your children, husband, wife, whatever the case may be, your business, your ministry. We even have leaders that uh, that uh, that that have their own flock, but they call and they connect with us, and it is such a blessing, my brothers and my sisters. You say I have my own prayer line. That's fine. You're still welcome. If you're not, if God is not leading you to do it, then that's okay. Glory to God. God, hallelujah, my brothers and my sisters. So here's the number, all right? 857-232-0155. That's 857-232-0155. Then you're going to put in the six-digit code, 77817. That's 778117. And when you do that, my brothers and my sisters, it'll take you directly into the line, connect you. And if you have any background noise, if you're at work, you're moving around, uh, if you have a TV on, eh, turn your TV off, okay? We're in service, all right? Um, it's, it's, think about it like this. Even though it's just like you're sitting in the sanctuary, we're just on the phone, all right? So let us reverence God, because guess what? I don't want you to miss what God has for you. I really don't, and I, God, I know that whatever it is you're seeking, that God has a word for you, and whether it's through the word of impartation, or maybe through the prayers, um, however, uh, God is leaving our prophet. When he comes on, um, he'll come on, uh, because we start with prayer, then we go into announcements, then we go back into prayer. Um, God bless you, Pastor Kenzie. It's good to see you, sir. Um, and then we go into the word of impartation uh, via my prophetess, or pastors, ministers, thank God, I, I, and and I thank God for the opportunity to be one of those voices there. Um, and um, and then after that, my prophet will come on, okay? Um, he'll preach, he'll uh, teach. I tell you, just revelation uh, upon revelation. Uh, powerful, powerful, powerful. Um, and Or either he'll prophesy, whatever the case may be. But I encourage you to connect. Glory to God. Thank you so much for chiming in to this segment of The Power to Become. And also, glory to God, if you have not gotten my book, From the Pulpit to the Pulpit, I'm working on book number two, To God Be the Glory, just in the editing phase now, glory to God. And ah, God is awesome. I tell you, you know, it's this message today was really, I needed that push. I needed that push. My brothers and my sisters, glory to God too. Go ahead and let's go, let's go, let's get it. Because when God is moving you, my brothers and my sisters, you know, many times when God, when we ask God for something and when he is doing that thing, my brothers and my sisters, we have to be ready for that move because when God is saying go, guess what? We got to go, we got to go, we got to do it. Glory to God, hallelujah. You say, oh, and see, there are times when when God is telling us to move and we're like, God, thanks, it's just going so fast. Okay, be careful what you ask God for. Because when it happens, my brothers and my sisters, you better just lock and load. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, right? Glory to God. Because what God has for you is not just for you, but for you to be that testimony. Because you are for signs and you are for wonders. According to Isaiah 8 and 18, that's one of my favorite scriptures. I love it. I thank God for the teaching, the Bible teachings here in King's Kingdom Churches. It's just been such a blessing to me and for me. Um, so, my brothers and my sisters, glory to God. Uh, thank you again for chiming into this segment of The Power to, begin, uh, to Become. But again, like I said, if you haven't got my book, make sure you get the book, all right? It's going to be a blessing to you and for you. Glory to God. Um, and um, the book was written uh, two years ago, 2019, all right? Um, and... This year, what um, I am doing by the grace of God is doing a, um, it's called Operation There Is a Way Out. Operation There Is a Way Out. What is that about? It's about the book. Yeah, I was like, wow, God, this is just too powerful. Um I'm going to be ordering 1,000 copies of my book, uh, From the Pulpit to the Pulpit, all right? And I'm going to be sending those copies out to the federal and state prisons free, 
all right? Not just here in North Carolina, wherever I can get them. So because there are so many people, there are so many men and women, women and men, and even youth, they need to know that God has not forgotten about them. They need to know, my brothers and my sisters, that the love he has for them is unconditional, irrespective of what they have done. Glory to God. Yes, they have to. There is a, a consequence to whatever is had that they did, but God still has a plan for their life, my brothers and my sisters. And this is really uh, personal to me um, because I have a family member, my brothers and my sisters, that's in that position. But I thank God that God has already spoken. And I'm just, I am just waiting for the physical manifestation because I believe God has already done it. He's spoken. That's that. That's it. That's it. It's done. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the way it's going to happen, oh my God. Ah, Jesus, God is too good. My brothers and my sisters. But, um, so those are going to be sent out. So if you want to be a part of it, and I encourage you, and I'm asking you to be a part of this great, um, yeah, great assignment, uh, because basically um, what's going to happen, like I said, we're going to be sending it out. And also to homeless shelters, uh, it's an outreach. This is an outreach, okay? So um, I'm asking you to be a part of it. Glory to God. You say, oh, really? That's great. So how can I? That's a great question. Um, you can just go ahead and um, when I have a GoFundMe page. is www.gofundme.com fund me forward slash operation there is a way out if you want to contribute whatever it is that god lays in your heart to do that is fine um the co the goal is ten thousand copies all right uh, um, excuse me the goal is ten thousand dollars one thousand copies all right so it's gonna be one thousand copies and the goal is ten thousand dollars and i uh, am moving towards that um you can so you can make your your donation through there if you say, well, hey, can I just send you via Cash App? Because there are many who have done that through Cash App. Sure, that's fine too. Um, it is my Cash App. I have two, right? Uh, it's dollar sign, my first name, Rashimba, um, or either dollar sign, uh, my first name, R-A-C-H-E-E-M-B-A 2021. Okay. Um, so like I said, whatever you want with that, that, that is laid in your heart to do, um, it will be greatly appreciated. And I am excited because, ah, man, I tell you just to get these book in the hands of people that are just going to be so blessed because I know that if God can deliver me and I know that we all have a testimony, right? We know where God has brought us from, but there are people who need to hear that. There are people who need to read it to see it, how, okay, how they can apply it to their own life to know that God still loves them. Wow. That he has not given up on them, even though people have given up on them. How many people have we given up on but God? God, he never gives up on us, my brothers and my sisters. So thank you so much for chiming into this segment of the power to become. And I thank you also for being part of um, Operation There Is A Way Out. Um, and if you wanna reach out to me for more information, you wanna contribute um, from your business, from your, from your church, however you wanna do it individually, it's fine, it's fine. It is greatly appreciated. And I know that God will continue to bless you and continue to elevate you and just to just in this month of supernatural breakthroughs i know that god is going to just do something so mighty in your life and even if you're just sending prayers for this operation there is a way out i thank you because you know what that is that is that is about outreach and reaching uh, uh, outreach to reach those my brothers and my sisters who really are at the end or are at, at that place where they are um, they even have given up on themselves, but you know what? That is not permitted. We must reach out to them and let them know that they are loved. They are so loved unconditionally. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we must show that love, the love of God in us to them. Glory to God, my brothers and my sisters, because God uses who? People. He's using us. Glory to God. So God bless you again, my brothers and my sisters. And you want to reach out to me. You want to connect with me with prayer or whatever it is. I love to hear from you all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My phone number is 919-537-6144. God bless you. Thank you so much for chiming in to this segment of The Power to Become. You have an awesomely blessed rest of your day. And I will connect with you all tomorrow. God bless you. Mwah.